like people talk about injuries, Baba. If you play 22 games, you are not really injured. If you play, especially if you play 50, <laughs> if, if you play 22, if you play 22 games, I hope you are not a lawyer. <laughs> if you play 22 games, you are not really injured. <laughs> if you play 22 games, if you play like five games, you Julian Timber, that's an injured player. <laughs> The beginning of every season comes with a lot of expectations. Players who performed well the last season are signed and a lot of great things are expected of them. Unfortunately, not all of them turn out to be great. I am Anishilowo, Jimmy Anishilowo. This is Crossfire. And I'm here with Tunde and Tosin to discuss who has been the best flop this season. Tunde. All right. Um, yeah, this, this has been a good year for flops. Like flops really... Yeah, round of applause for Flops. Flops really flopped hard this year. And I would, I would like to take a moment to do all of them appreciation. To a lot of them are, are Chelsea. A lot of them are Chelsea. A lot of them play for Man United as well. But my opinion is not even going to be Premier League centre today. Because there's one person that I know that has flopped harder than anybody has ever flopped before. Nobody is saying that because people don't really pay attention to the gun like that. Rana Kolomwani was signed for 95 million euros. Not Naira. Not dollars. Euros. I don't know what that translates to in Naira, but it is a lot of money. <laughs> PSG paid 95 million. For context, in this summer, the last summer that seemed to be like the highest summer for transfers, it was the fourth most expensive signing in, in the world. Behind the Glarice, uh, Bellingham, and Caicedo. Those were the only players that cost more than, than, than Colomani this summer. Look at what all of those players are doing. Now, I'm about to tell you what Colomani is doing. In May, at the end of the season, Colomani has won two, three, four, five league goals. In, in case you thought he was different, he's not. He's a striker. He's a, <laughs> <laughs> he's a center for. Like, if you say, we are looking for goal today, he's the one that. <laughs> he's the one that will probably go He has five goals in May. He's not even averaging one goal per month. That's the, that's the painful part. That's, that's the painful part. And I've seen robbery in my life. I've never seen this before. Like, this is, is, is mind blowing to me. He has 12 goals in the competition. He has uh, 5 league goals. 12 goals in the competition uh, in about 40 games or thereabouts. I personally, I don't think that there's a bigger flop in World Football. And it is a flop that I even saw coming. Because, yes, he had that good season with Enter Fafo. But then, with him, I should start losing to pay 95 million for this guy. And now that Mbappe is going, there's no save. It's, it's just him. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to be a PNG fan right now. But yes, in the land of flops, instead of flopping, I think nobody has flopped that than Kolobani Mabine. When he considered the amount he was signed to his output, the level of expectation, he did not even meet 10% of the expectations. And it's not even the only flop in PSG. There are still other, some other people there. But I think he's the biggest one. Alright, Tosin. He has named his own candidates. Let's say your presentation. <laughs> well, that, that's a good choice. Uh, that's a very, very good choice. Kolobani. But you know, I look at all the flops. Uh, this has been a fantastic flopping season. A lot of people have actually put in a lot of effort to make sure that they destroy their team. <laughs> so, I looked at it. I said, you know what? PSG won the league. They won the cup. And they will also be going into the Champions League next season. So, I looked at Manchester United. <laughs> Terrible organization. <laughs> Forget the rain that is falling from their stadium. This is a very pathetic organization. And when you look at the signings that they brought in, because last season, a lot of people said Cristiano Ronaldo was a problem at Manchester United. I didn't see it that way, but I'm not even a Cristiano Ronaldo guy. So they got rid of Cristiano Ronaldo and they took away the number seven jersey and they said they were going to bring in a new number seven and they unveiled Mason Mount. From Chelsea for 75 million euros. Now, it's not up to 95 million euros, but let me tell you what Mason Mount did. Messi Mount was actually a boyhood Chelsea fan. Like, he was at the club since seven at Coburn. Literally, he was at the club since seven. Even when they actually sent him out on loan for development, they sent him out to go and develop with a Chelsea legend in Frank Lampard at Derby. Came back to Chelsea. Frank Lampard still came to come and coach him again in Chelsea. So they were grooming him. This guy put up a pathetic video on his social media page explaining why he wants to leave Chelsea for Manchester United. I said that one was not bad. He now inherited the number seven jersey. He posed along with it. And Manchester United fans were expecting big things out of this motherfucker. Like, people talk about injuries. Baba, if you play 22 games, you are not really injured. 
If you play, especially if you play 50. <laughs> if you play just two, if you play just two games, I hope you are not a lawyer. <laughs> if you play just two games, you are not really injured. <laughs> if you play just two games, if you play like five games, you g- Julian Timber, that's an injured player. <laughs> that's an injured player. Arsenal fans will judge Julian Timber on next season. You understand? That's an injured player. If you play 22 games, you are not injured as far as me I'm concerned. But you now put up stinker upon stinker upon stinker. Now, the motive behind buying Missy Mount was to be a creative hub by a coach who placed the identity of his team around Bruno Fernandes. Now how to show on Missy Mount to the right, he didn't perform. Put him to the left, he didn't perform. They played him in his favorite position, he didn't perform. Put him in a defensive position, he didn't perform. Neither, nothing worked. All the court disconnected. All his, all his antennas, and, and if you look at it comprehensively, if you look at it comprehensively, why did he leave Chelsea? He left Chelsea because he wanted to be the highest paid player as Chelsea. Because obviously they brought in Ryan Sterling from Manchester. Ryan Sterling, a three-time Premier League winner. You were angry that he, you didn't want to, you left Chelsea, your boy Hill club, to go to Manchester United to go and flop. And a lot of Manchester United fans will come at me and say, oh, you know what, Sofian Amrabat is a bigger flop. So if an hour on about is on loan, let's just get that clear. It's on loan from Fiorentina. So I can't when you pay 75 million for a player from a rival and he gives you one goal in 22 games. The goal was important. Really? There's that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we, 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 uh, people say Lukaku flopped, Baba. Lukaku did flop like this. This is a in fact. I think the next step for his career is probably Leeds City, Leeds United coming down from the championship. Is that bad? Is that he reminds me of Danny Drinkwater? That's how bad it is. That is how bad he that's how terrible he went. Danny Drinkwater left left Leicester City and went to Chelsea. This is a very, very terrible player. His ball control, his IQ for the game. I don't know, maybe he was being called in that Chelsea setup. But at Manchester United, he already uh, he doesn't have a future at that club. That one is already crystal clear after a whole full season. And for me, that is the flop of the season. Messi Mount, you have the award. All right, back to you, Tunde. So, do you think that PSG should give Kolumwane a second chance next season? They should just cut their loss and send him maybe to, I don't know, whatever club. You see, the, the problem with signings like Kolumwane is that you cannot even cut your loss because who you want to sell and give? <laughs> Why you sign somebody like that for 95? I don't see that guy play. He plays like a giraffe in high heels. That's exactly how he plays football. I don't I don't know what, I don't know who looked at this guy and said, take my 95 million euros. I Hodge probably could not have negotiated the deal better than that. <laughs> in my opinion. Yes, that's the I just there's no scamming that want to pass this off. Nobody will say anybody that says this guy is probably alone to see if you can. That's how they do it. When, <laughs> there's a way you flop really that nobody will ever pay your transfer fee ever in life. So you are you are the loan of free transfers. So I think he signed like a six or seven year contract. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe it's not even five years, but basically yeah, it's one year into it's one year into a long term contract. They paid ninety five million for, for for him uh, from entrance Frankfurt. I know he's on a huge salary as well. As far as the boy is concerned, at twenty three, twenty four years old, his life is made. I'm not. Oh, by the way, don't take this to the wrong. I'm not blaming the player or anything. <laughs> if you if you play your game right and you allow. You get convinced PSG to pay 95 million to sign you. That's not your fault. You have achieved. Uh, Colomani has done well in life. Colomani is my role model. <laughs> <laughs> you think all this one that like, people will say? Hey, when I look at our Instagram comments, I say, they say, yeah, how come the boss employ this? I want to be Colomani. <laughs> if I cannot find a way to not be doing anything, I'll be collecting money. I'll be collecting money. I have to call me and be receiving courses every single day. <laughs> for, for how much? Why right, someone is they are signing for 95 million euros and is doing absolutely nothing? But I say somebody has five. I don't think you understand what it means as a striker to have five league goals in France. I don't. I don't think. I don't think you get it. Why play for the best team in the country? By far, play for PSG and you cannot come on at five league goals. I don't. I don't understand it at all. So what is the upside for him? The upside for him and his family personally is that they've made it. There's, <laughs> there's no, see, there's no you do you could have done better than that. We 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 had just even what they see ninety five million euros. I want the career. So they are they are it is done for them. For PSG, I sense that okay, we have made a costly error, a co- costly mistake. 
I think it's the third most expensive player in PSG history behind um, Mbappe and, and, and Neymar. That's admit that I have made a costly mistake. There's no way if these guys replace Mbappe. There's no way. But you can still be a decent squad player. You can still be very, when, you, when you, Mbappe leaves, you get in a proper superstar. Who knows? Maybe he can improve from five league goals to ten. And then maybe by the time he's 30, he'll start scoring 15 league goals. But and th those are not the numbers you hoped for when you, when you, when you, you paid. Get but at least you are still, <laughs> you are still you know, getting something. You are, you, are, you are still getting something out of it. But in terms of like, who will sign him? We, we, I don't know what club is about, but we, <laughs> this club is not about, boy. <laughs> 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 but this <laughs> Do you also think that Manchester United should give Messi Mouth a chance next season, or they should cut their losses? Uh, not not under Sir, Sir Jim Ratcliffe, over his dead body. Over his dead body, Messi, Messi Mount is the epitome of incompetence by, wow. by, 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 the, by the Manchester United board. That's just the simple truth. Because like this guy was paraded as the Messiah to come and wash away the sins of Cristiano Ronaldo. Only for him to show that, you know what, I, I can flop. You, do you know some of the players that won the number 7 at Manchester United and flopped? Because people always talk about like, oh, the Manchester United number 7 jersey is one of the most historical jerseys in the history of football. You talk about the likes of Eric Cantona, obviously David Beckham, Cristiano Ronaldo. But there are some flops there. <laughs> there are some flops like that. <laughs> but those flops, their life is still better than Messi Mount. Like, someone like Memphis Depay, a lot of people do not know he won the number 7 jersey. I think he scored 7 goals in his first season and they had to shunt him. He went back to PSV then he went to Went to Italy, Lyon, yeah. Lyon, then all the way found it was and still Atletico Madrid. But like this guy, I will be surprised. And you know the funny thing about English players, as much as English players are a premium in the Premier League, obviously to meet up with the quota. I'm telling you that this guy does I'm, I'm not even sure he's a Premier League standard player again. This is this is a very, very terrible footballer. This is a very, very terrible footballer. This this Messi Mount guy, I do not even see him playing top level football in the next three years. Shabu Kolo, Kolo Mwani has all the necessary attributes of a obviously of a, someone of African descent. <laughs> you understand? Someone someone of African descent. Someone who has obviously the melanin. Somebody who has the pace, the power and the rugidity. This guy is 25. His body is breaking down. What is, are you a fish? Are you a fish? Your body is already you're already having ligament strain. You're already having ACL strain. You're already having tendon strain. Like what what is what are you are you made of biscuit? What are you made up of? Like this guy is a very very terrible footballer, and obviously as we know, you don't get healthier as you grow older. I can tell you, no. I can <laughs> tell you for a fact. You understand? I can tell you for like you no know, standing up now is difficult. <laughs> so the older you get, the more problem there are going to be. So as he's leaving the treatment table, he's going back to the treatment table. Leaving the treatment table, going to the hospital. Leaving, going to the gynecologist. Leaving, whatever the case is. <laughs> that check something, and that that's the story for the rest of his life. Well, it may seem the flop of the season. You can take that one. Well, guys, Tunde and Tosin have surely made their thoughts known. Kolomwane, Messi Mount. But what about you? Do you agree with them, or maybe you've got other candidates in mind? Do let us know in the comment section below. I am Anishilo, Jimmy Anishilo. This is Crossfire, brought to you by Bed Bonanza. High odds, fast payouts.